Hello everybody, this is Leon Hilbert aka The Professor and welcome to the fifth installment of the Sonic Racing Cross Worlds modding tutorial series. In this video we're going to be going over replacing audio and I was just made aware of this really great tool made by Red One Boad. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This makes the process significantly easier. I'll still have the other way of doing this in my tutorial doc, but for this video I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best way of doing this. You're going to come to this GitHub page through a link in the description, and you'll download this file here, Crossworld Music Editor. Once you've done that, you'll go to your downloads folder and, as I've said before, you'll want to put this in your modding tools folder. I have several different folders, I'm actually going to put this in my audio folder. Then I'm going to extract this. Once you have that extracted, you can delete the zipped file. And then you'll open this and you'll press the .exe. You'll probably get this pop-up and just click more info and run anyway. So here's the program and you can see how this makes everything so much easier. You can easily see not only the names of things, but also the pictures, which I really love pictures. That helps immensely. And this will assist you in making the pack files that you need to replace the music for stages and the menus and the voices. The first thing that you'll want to do is go up to the file, press settings, and you're going to select your cryware folder. And this refers to the Cryware folder in your F model extraction folder. This can also refer to the Cryware folder in your WeTalk extraction folder, but today we're going to be using F model. Before we do that, I'll just give you a quick reminder on how to get the voice files. If you need help setting up F model, I have a video on that, which you'll see in the iCard right up above. I'm actually going to have to look at my tutorial doc real quick to see where the voice lines are and not all of the voice lines are in the same folder so if you need help locating the voice lines or the music that you're looking for please go to the pack files directory in my modding guide so if you go into pack chunk one here's where a lot of the stage music is but this isn't all of it there the other half of it is located in another pack junk, and the voices for the AIs are located here in pack junk 42. Pack junk 5 is where the majority of the voice lines are for the characters, so I'm going to click up here, scroll to the bottom, hold shift, and click the last one. And then, with all of that selected, I'm just going to press export raw data and that will export all of those files. But the character whose voice lines I want to replace is Miku. So we're going to go to pack chunk 50, and all of the ones that have underscore Kara at the end are the character voice lines. And Miku is extend 10, so I'll just export raw data. So now what we'll do is we'll go back up to file, and click to select the folder. Now you'll navigate to your F model output folder and go to Union, Content, and click on Cryware Data. Then we want to select folder. Click OK. And now, whenever you want to replace any of the voice lines, you'll be able to just click on whichever one you want. And this is where you'll start building your pack file. Now, I did want to show you real quick, even though we're going to be using this method, it is still useful to have another tool in your arsenal because for me personally, when replacing all of these, I really like to listen to the voice lines. And as far as I can tell, there isn't a way to do that in this program. So we're going to be using FooBar in order to listen to the voice lines properly and that will help us know whenever we're making our own personal recordings with Audacity, it'll help us to know what those voice lines sounded like originally so that we can go off of that. 
So after you have your assets, you're going to need to download a couple of things. The first thing is Boobar 2000. Now you're going to want to download the latest stable version based on whether you have a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. I have a 64-bit, so that's the one that I'm downloading. The next thing that you'll need is the BG Stream component. So you'll want this first one here, the Spoobar 2000 component. And you'll click on this and it'll automatically start downloading. Now once that's complete, go ahead and open Foobar. And in order to make this work for us, you're going to need to go to File and go to Preferences. Under the Components tab, go ahead and click Install. And you'll go to your download and select that BGM Stream component that you downloaded. A pop-up window will come up, you'll click Yes, and then you'll click Apply. And now the program will be ready to read the game files. So all that's left to do is go to Open, and you'll navigate to your F Model Output folder. Go to Exports, and it's usually under Union Cryware Data. I will show you real quick, for most of the characters, they will have a .acb and a .awb. But for characters like Miku and Joker here, they only have a .acb. Now, if you try to open Silver's voice lines, the .acb, you'll get an error code. If you go and you open the .awb, it'll start working, and you'll be able to listen to all of the voice files. So it just depends. Make sure that anytime you're trying to replace an audio file, if there is a .acb and a .awb both, make sure that you download both of them. But if there's only one, like Matus that only has a .acb, that's totally fine. For some reason, I don't know why you can open Miku's .acb, but you can't open Silver's, but you can open Miku's. Dot .acb. And actually, um, when it comes to the music, if you look at Stade's 1001 here, that mostly is just sound effects. But, if you open the AWB, that's the actual music. So, again, make sure that if you're replacing anything, make sure that you download both the, the ACB and the AWB to make sure that you get the audio files that you're looking for. But, so for this tutorial, we're going to be replacing Miku's lines with Stagger's voice. So we open Miku's file, and we can hear all of her different sounds. And you can see she has very few. She only has 27 sounds. I'll show you real quick. If you're wanting to replace the lines for a character like Silver, you have, you have a lot of lines, <laughs> 230 to be exact. Now some of these apply to the, um, whenever you see Ready Movie, that's Silver talking to the rivals. So a lot of these have to do with talking to the rivals, but some of them also have to do with, um, when you're racing, big. I'm not so weak, they talk to certain characters. And so Miku doesn't have all of these, and neither do any of the extended roster characters, which is a real shame. And I do not currently know how to add more audio cues in order to add more sounds to Miku's bank. There may be a way, I do not know how. The biggest reason that you're opening this in Fubar for the character voice signs is just to hear them, because you don't need to download any of these, because you're going to be replacing them. This is just for the sake of being able to listen to them, and to see what each line is for, it'll tell you this is the character select line, these are the things that she says when she's dashing, these are the stunt, these are the stamps, etc. The next thing that you're going to want to do is record your replacement voice lines, and the program that I prefer for this is Audacity. It's a free professional program that a lot of people use. It has a lot of great tools in it. And I'm going to show you just real quick my suggestion for editing your voice lines. I've already edited all the ones for Miku, so let me instead show you some of the ones that I recorded for Leon. Oh dear. 
So this is one of the voice lines that I recorded for the stamped set. Oh dear. And it sounds fine to me in the program, but I noticed that whenever I ported this into the game, it sounded incredibly quiet. So this is what I've been doing in order to help with that. And there is a much more sophisticated way of doing this. You can mess with the settings of each of these effects that I'm going to be using. I don't. I just switch back and forth between them. And that works for me. You want your entire track selected. Go up to Effect and select the compressor. You can see the difference. That made some of the more quiet parts louder. Oh dear. And we can push this even further by going to the limiter. And that's gonna make it quieter, but... It only made certain parts of the audio clip more quiet. Next, we're gonna go to Amplify and this will always automatically input a number so that it will amplify it as much as it possibly can without clipping the mic. Oh dear. And so if you repeat this, it's gonna get louder. You don't wanna do it too much because it'll become distorted. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's much louder now. So now we can export that as a wave. Here are my Miku voice lines, and instead of giving them the entire name that appears in FUBAR, I just name it Kira and a number that corresponds with that voice line. So after you've recorded all your voice lines, you can now put them into the Crossworlds Music Mod Builder. So we're gonna go over to Miku, and one by one we're going to replace each of these. So this is the first time I've used this program, so we'll see how this goes. As I said, whenever I made the waves, I numbered them based on this exact list. I'll go into my folder where I have those voice lines saved. And there we go. Great! Great! And then, you'll just do this for each and every one. Oh dear. Yeah, come on! Okay, so that's all of them selected. So next we're going to click Convert Selected Audio. And this is going to convert them each one by one. Great. So now we can enter the name of our mod. I'm going to put Staggers Voice. And I should put underscore P. And we're going to click Repack ACB. And create dot pack. Okay, excellent. So, it actually created a folder here that has the ACB in it. And then, here's our dot pack. It, it does it all. It does the entire segment. This is great. I'm very impressed with this. We'll see if it works now. I'm pretty confident it will work. That is actually way faster than the previous process. And like I said, you can use this to replace any character voice and all of the stage music. And we're going to take this dot pack and we'll put it in our mods folder. I'm going to put this in my stagger folder. Stagger's voice right there. And now we should be ready to give it a test. Let's see if we can hear those voice lines. Let's dance. Yeah, looks like we can hear it. Yeah, in my opinion, it does seem to sound a little bit quieter than the other Terrigen voice lines, so that may just be my way of editing the audio. I may need to look into learning a little bit more about the proper way to edit the audio, but the main point of this video was to get the voice lines replaced. If I learn anything else in the interim, then I will go ahead and update this video. But in order to test out these voice lines, let's do a quick race and see what they sound like.
I like how the voice lines sound. Oh no, I may re-record uh, re some of them, but ultimately I like how they sounded. And there you have it, that's how you replace voice lines in Sonic Race and Cross Worlds. It was already an easy process before, but with that new tool, it's incredibly easy. So big shout out to the person who created this program, it's super useful, and I'm so thankful to have it. And with that, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, happy modding, and I'll see you in the next video, you're dismissed.